Hello there friends and welcome back to my channel. It is Amy here and today we're going to create a layout with a brand new collection that Close to My Heart just came out with um, on July 15th. It is called Memory Lane and I'm going to show you really quickly the parts and pieces of this collection. Here is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. Like all other sticker sheets from Close to My Heart, these are a designer sticker. It's a thick sticker. It's matte finish so you can write on the stickers, you can stamp on the stickers and you don't have to worry about any smudging. Lots of great titles for scrapbook pages, sentiments for scrapbook and or card projects, all kinds of little images, big and small, so versatile. And then we've got our paper collection. So all close to my heart paper is double-sided. There is a zip strip on every strip of paper and that kind of serves as another embellishment, if you will, because it is a coordinating pattern and they just really enhance the collection. So one of the patterns is this darling house and tree. And then we've got the floral. Then we've got this one, which is a sage green. It's got a geometric pattern to it. And the back side kind of reminds me of waves. And we've got this fun honey butter gingham zip strip. And then we've got this melon and peach pattern or ballerina and it's got a hand-drawn scallop which is great on the pattern paper but you could also cut that out hand cut that out and the back side is another geometric really subtle pattern and we've got a uh, honey butter stripe so let me kind of fan these out so you can see how wonderful they all go then we've got this honey butter floral and the back side is kind of like a um, a water a wash and not sure if the camera's picking it up but it's got swirls in it and then check out that fun could be Daisy or maybe black eyed Susan zip strip so we will add that to our wheel of pattern paper. And then we've got this one, which is the melon and the peach, kind of like um, a ticking square pattern. And the other side, check out that zip strip. And they're kind of like little dragonfly images. So just adding to this, and is this just not delicious? I mean, I just want to eat it up. You get a lot of paper in this collection. It is bigger than our regular lines of paper. And then last but certainly not least, we've got this rainbow stripe. And then the back is another rainbow stripe, but it's kind of like that ombre water washed look and we've got the polka dot zip strip so we can add these and you can see how lovely these all coordinate together I'm trying to fan this out so i think that this is a wonderful collection for summer as well as a lead into fall but these these patterns really they're not theme specific so you could use them for any kind of themes and i actually have several photos from different events that will go great with this collection and then we can add this sticker sheet to it and you can see just how fabulous this collection is but there is more there is a coordinating cardstock pack so you can see all of the colors here. So we've got nectarine and close to my heart cardstock is double sided. So you've got the light side and the dark side. We've got nectarine, sage, sapphire, honey butter, 
and melon. And as if that wasn't enough, we have an amazing stamp set that I have been using daily. It is so fun and whimsical. You've got two different houses, a dragonfly, a floral arrangement, a super cute tree with a tire swing, and then a heart and a stitched heart and some really great sayings. Have a beautiful birthday, sending you a big hug, so much fun, our story, this moment, and love. Now, on top of this collection, you can buy all of this a la carte, meaning you can buy each thing individually, or you can purchase a product bundle where you're getting a pack of the pattern paper, the sticker sheet, and the coordinating cardstock and the stamp set, and you can get that at a discount. And on my website, there are two free guides, a card making workshop guide and a scrapbooking workshop guide. And um, those guides, there are workshop bundles to go with them. And the embellishment and the scrapbooking workshop are the wood grain flower, paperboard, punch outs. And for the card making workshop, you've got acry acrylic floral hearts. So all that information can be found on my website. We are going to get started working on a two page layout today. And I know for sure I'm using the card stock, I'm using the pattern paper, probably some stickers and the stamp set and I am going to bring in the layered flowered thin cuts if you've been following me for a while you've seen me use these I love this thin cut collection I use this leaf a lot but I'm, I've cut a variety of the different flowers and leaves in the cardstock and we're going to see if that might work on the layout and then, of course, the buildable tags, gotta love tags, and I'm gonna use some of these as well. So I'm gonna clear my desk and we'll get started. All right, so like I mentioned, we're gonna do a two-page layout. So I brought in two versamats, and we're gonna use White Daisy for the base of our pages. And the photos that we are going to document today are actually from a recent little um, getaway that two, our two daughters, my husband and I, went on a little camping excursion up in Tennessee. And so I thought the colors in these pictures matched perfectly with memory lane. So these are the photos we're going to document. I cut them all down to, or printed them in three by three and three by four. And what we're gonna do is a grid style scrapbooking. And I am using a sketch by fellow maker, Aaron. Um, and uh, we'll see how this comes together. So I've got my two versamats here, and so that you can see clearly, I think I'll do one page at a time. I'm lining up my, my base page on my versamat, and I did go ahead and cut some of the patterns and the card stock and we will just go ahead i'm going to dry fit all this and then i'll adhere it all off camera but i've got this floral print that we're going to put up at the top and this is actually a four by 12 piece and then this green pattern is going to go right below it and then we've got this fun kind of hand-drawn pink pattern, which will go right below that. And then we'll finish it off with this fun striped zip strip. And then the honey butter paper, and I'm thinking I'm gonna use the light side, is gonna fill in right here. And we're gonna make it so that it's 
starts at the one inch and goes up to the 11 inch. Again, I'm just dry fitting this right now. And then our first grid of photos is going to go right here. I don't know what order I'm gonna put them in, but we'll, um, I guess I, it doesn't really matter, but we'll do three photos like this. I'm not even gonna mat the photos. I think that will go perfect there for photos. And then we will mimic the similar kind of uh, placement of the papers on the coordinating page. So I do have my four by 12 floral piece. And then we'll put, this is going to be our other grid. And then I've got this fun hand-drawn scallop piece and the zip strip. So we'll put the zip strip down at the very bottom and then our scallop piece will go flush with that. And then the honey butter cardstock will go so that we'll make sure that we line these up so that they're even from here to here. And then this square piece will fit right in there like that. And then our other photos We'll have six photos going across like this. And I actually have more than the nine photos. So I would use, I'm going to use some of the three by three flip flaps and get this whole camping trip in flip flaps. Or I might be able to do something like that. And then the Three by fours are going to go right over here like this. I'm not sure which, which order I'm going to put them in. And maybe we'll cut some photo mats for those. So this is going to be the left side. And this will be the right side. And you know, I'm thinking maybe instead of flip-flops, I might, I'll figure out what order I want the photos, and then maybe we'll do something like that. Although I was thinking I could do a bunch of embellishing here, and I was thinking that this could be my journaling. So I might stick with that plan, where this will be the journaling. I may even do a four by six and we'll do the flip flap. So we'll see, let's work on this page first. I think what I will do is get all of this adhered down and then we can come in and do the embellishments. Now I did cut a variety of that tag from the buildable tag set. And I will list in the description all the products that I use that are still available. I love the buildable tags because you can see you get a variety of shapes and sizes. And I love that you get the reinforcers. So it's always fun to, you know, take a tag and then you can use the reinforcer with another color. So I'm not sure what colors I want to use, but I'm thinking that they will go here like this, just like in the sketch that Erin did. Now the white doesn't really show up. So what I did is I cut the tags in all of the different possible colors and I cut them with the dark side and the light side. Now, I know I don't want white. I'm thinking that the honey butter is too close to that. So I'm thinking it's going to either be the nectarine or the melon. And I'm thinking if I use nectarine, I think I like the darker 
So let's see how the melon. I think I'm liking the nectarine. And maybe what we'll do is do two different colors. So maybe I'll do the light and the dark nectarine. Or do we want to do... Well, that might be kind of fun. And then we can do a nectarine reinforcer there. And I, I do have a darker one. Or maybe what might be fun is to do the honey butter. Maybe we'll do honey butter, and then I might add some twine or something in there. I don't know, we'll see. Or we could also do white. Well, we will see. I'm gonna go ahead and get all this adhered, and then what do you think? Do you think we should? What if we... I wonder if I should mat these pictures on white. We might try that. So let me get all this adhered and then we'll move on. All right, so I have my black ink pad and I've got my journaling well. And we're gonna start by stamping fun first. Now I've already used this so I don't need to season it. But if you are using a new stamp set, remember just rub it on your skin or you could use your rub and remove eraser just to get that protective film off of it. That's part of the manufacturing. And I'm gonna let it sit for a minute so the ink absorbs into the paper. And then for the so much, I actually could probably use my one by one block. And that's going to sit right there, like that. Now, to be honest with you, I wish that this was up a little bit more, but because it's not, we're still going to make it work. And I will just add. some doodle lines and not sure if you can see, but my wrist is what's moving. Down the paper. I don't know why, but whenever I do this on camera, it never comes out as good. So that will be our journaling well. I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive. I'm not putting adhesive up at the top because we're gonna add those sticker embellishments. I put that right there like that. And I love the sticker, all that little detail. I love that. And I'm gonna stick this more towards the left side because the flower is on the right side. And then I just took the two banners. I, I picked the two banners that had all the colors in this collection. And we're just gonna create a little, I could even do it like this, let's see. Maybe I'll do it like this. You know what, let me get my anti-static pouch. I'm gonna take the stickiness off the sticker. You are really getting my thought process on tape today. So we could do like that, but I know I think I like it better. I should have waited to put this sticker down. Let me, I don't have my spatula with me, I don't think. Let's see if I can peel this up really quickly without. 
that was close. So what I was thinking, I like my original idea better. So we'll put these like this and then put this like that. Yeah, I like that better. And then let's put our flower down. I'm gonna use some of my tape just because it's a bigger area. So we'll put that down. I don't have a whole lot to say, so I don't mind covering up. We went to this um, park. It's the called the Wilderness Road Trail, and it's the Tri-State Peak. So at one point, we were in Kentucky, Tennessee, and Virginia, and it's part of where Daniel Boone hiked and my daughter Molly that one she's about to enter into her second year of teaching and she teaches all about Daniel Boone it's part of their curriculum so she was excited to go and and uh, do the hike and we took pictures so she can share with her kids and we got brochures and it was just really fun so there we have that and again you could put a little uh, glitter gem there if you want but because we're out in the woods in nature i think we're gonna leave it just like this um i'm gonna go in and do my journaling and then i'll be back and we'll slide our our pages into page protectors and add our flip flaps all righty friends we are done so here is the right page of my two page layout and you can see I've got my journaling in there and then here is the left page and I did go ahead and add those three hearts there. So what we're going to do to finish it up is put these in page protectors and I will show you how to adhere the flip flap. So this is the left page so I want to make sure that my spine my holes to go in my album are on the right side so we will slip this in I love the close to my heart page protectors they are very thick and durable so tiny fingers can flip through the albums as well as more mature fingers back when um, my oldest child was a baby I did not have close to my heart protectors and the protectors I use were very flimsy and he would tear them so I stopped letting him look at the albums which defeated the purpose because um, we lived far away from family and I wanted him to know his cousins and his Grammy and his Grampy by looking at the photos that's not a problem with these protectors. Now the flip flaps that close to my heart sells, it's that same quality, same thickness. And we sell the flip flaps in a variety of sizes and they lend themselves to so many awesome things like adding more photos to a page or you could add journaling and they give it a nice um, interactive spin which makes your pages more interesting. So you see I just peeled off that protective um, I don't know what it's called this protective little piece of tape to reveal the sticky um, ness of the flip flap so I put my pictures in and this is going to flip up like this so I have to make sure that my one picture is facing this way but we flip up so this one I actually put in upside down you also want to make sure you're putting them in so that this scored flap bends down and the sticky strip is there and then this will stick right to your page protector now i put my flip flaps on like on top of my page protectors just like you're seeing now but then there's also times when i will put them on the actual page and then i will cut 
slits and have the page protector come up through the slit. Today I am choosing just to do it this way. So for this one, it's gonna go right here. So again, I have my picture here. I'm bending this down on the score so the sticky side is facing out. We flip this up and that picture is going the right way. I'm gonna peel this off to reveal the sticky strip and then line this up right over that other picture and burnish it and then I like to use my bone folder and if you keep going like this you'll eventually the the little dots of the adhesive will disappear and so there we have that another thing that I've done um, sometimes is I'll put a little tab here so people looking at the page will know to flip that up um, but there you have it. There is our two page spread featuring the Memory Lane collection and a fun morning hike. I know I'm going to be telling a lot more stories with this collection. I will uh, list all the products that I used in the description box below. If you do not already subscribe to my channel and would be willing to subscribe, give me a like, leave me a comment and share. Um, so other people can see my videos that just tells YouTube that you like what you're seeing and you'll see more and it helps me to grow my little channel and I certainly do appreciate your support and I will catch you on the next video.